So Marvel went ahead and decided to drop a mid-season trailer for WandaVision. My buddy actually sent me this trailer and another like uh, TV spot trailer to check out. So I haven't seen it yet. Basically, we're going to watch it together and we're going to do a reaction pretty much scene by scene. Um, I'm not expecting too much. These trailers that Disney has kind of dropped for this show have been very limited. And what I mean, like they've been kind of rehashing scenes we've already seen with like maybe two seconds of extra footage. But hopefully uh, we do see some cool stuff here that kind of teases us for the episodes to come. Kind of like holds a carrot in front of our face, gets us a little excited. So let's see what they uh, have in store with us. Let's just get right into it. So we got Monica still here. We know. Okay, there's Darcy again. It's uh, it's cool to have her back. I hope they have something more important for her to do this time around. I feel like in Thor one and Thor two, she wasn't really needed. There, she was kind of like that side comedy character, but she honestly didn't do that great of a job. Like she wasn't needed for those stories. Hopefully they can give her like a more uh, significant role for this show. Now have first person intel from inside the Westview anomaly. What are we looking at here? So it looks like Monica is going to be waking up and it looks like they're going to be doing testing on her. Just seeing what that anomaly in uh, Westview uh, is kind of doing to her. I wonder if she's going to remember anything like in her interactions from being inside Wanda's world or or not, or if she has any like hidden clues to give us, I'm curious. Is it an alternate reality, time travel? It's a sitcom. Starring two Avengers? That's a working theory. Well, I know the apron is a bit. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda just, I have this nostalgic feeling for when I see the black and white, like first two episodes of WandaVision. I just, I was getting so used to it. Like I know there's a lot of hate, but I don't know. I find myself like missing it. I just, I like that classic sitcom look, especially like with these characters. I think that's what made it so interesting for me. But yeah, one could only hope. Bit much, dear, but I am doing my best to blend in. Hello, dear. Hiya, kid. Hiya, kiddos. Hi. There's Agnes, and I definitely think she's uh, a got the hardness for sure. Uh, and. I even saw, I saw a trailer like a week ago. It's like I'm pretty sure it's like Halloween within the town, and you see that one scene where she's like dressed up as a witch and asks Vision, "Is she dead?" And she's like, "Because you are, right?" I don't think that's her actually like revealing. I don't think that's uh, the show revealing to us that that's a Gotha Harkness. I think it's just like an homage or kind of like a foreshadowing to what she is going to become within the MCU. Because I'm almost certain that she will become a Gotha Harkness. Basically, she is going to be that witch that either teaches Wanda, like in the uh, comics, or who knows what kind of role that uh, the MCU will have for her, right? They, they tend to switch things up here and there. So, but I, I don't know. I, I'm waiting to see when that reveal is going to come. It's pretty fast out in the suburbs. I think something's wrong with you. <laughs> Yeah, see, uh, Vision's already starting to feel like something's wrong. You saw it from the last couple episodes, like he's starting to question things and ask Wanda what's going on. Should we just take it from the top? Wanda, that, Wanda. Hold on, I want to show you guys this, so. <laughs> Should we just take it from the top? See, here I'm wondering, actually, is uh, Agatha or Agnes, right, it, is she like doing something with her powers if she has any at this uh, point in time and that's why Wanda has this face like what what just happened so I, I don't know that that's uh that's sparking some curiosity Wanda, Wanda. I don't know how any of this started what it's so so see that's something curious too and she's like I don't know how any of this started that's why I'm saying I, I said this in my last episode review does she know that this is happening because you we know that she's the one kind of controlling things and manipulating in that world but is somebody like triggering her to do this or did she just start doing that? that's i don't feel that she's being malicious there has to be like a third party i don't know antagonist or some kind of outside force that we haven't learned yet or seen yet within the show that's kind of manipulating her to do this i don't know i i'm i have a feeling though outside of westfield yeah right here even uh Further proof right now that Vision's really starting to question what's going on. I mean, he's wondering what's outside Westview. 
And it looks like he's trying to breach the perimeter that Wanda set for uh, for that little town. So I wonder, this is probably going to be later in the season for sure. So it looks like they're trying to crash through the force field, see what happens. I don't think that's going to end uh, hopeful for uh, S.W.O.R.D. What was that? Was that Wanda coming through? Kinda looks like it, so I wonder if she's gonna tell them to back off. I don't know. This is uh that's pretty interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure what that's about. It's probably just a case of the Mondays. <laughs> Am I right? I, I love Elizabeth Olsen's acting. I, I don't know why she's just so like uh she has she has a charisma about her that's just so uh it's attractive, right? It's uh it's awesome. I don't know. I wouldn't pick any other person to play Wanda. She really do, does drive performance. Let's replay that. Is that? I don't know if that's her and Vision fighting. I don't think so. I feel like they're probably fighting a common enemy here. But this seems like some crazy stuff is going down in this scene. Looks like Vision did make it through the barrier. And now he's kind of like losing himself. Either that or he was attempting to go outside the barrier and Wanda's pulling him back in. Um, wow. Wow. This is this has got to be a lot of, like, towards the end of the show stuff going on in these last couple scenes. That was wild. So, it looks like Wanda is taking control of that town or it's spreading outside. So, this is, like, swords, like, uh, little, like, station that they have stationed outside of, like, Westview. So I don't know if she's like blocking from anybody coming in or if she's like spreading her role to like kind of absorb them. I'm curious to what's going on here. And we've seen this scene before. I don't, I don't know. Maybe they're fighting here. I don't think so. I, why do I feel like they're not? I don't know. I feel like it might be like a little love thing they have going on. Like, I don't know. They're trying to like flirt like it with their powers or something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm like totally off on that. Yes, my love. Are you crying? But I'm invested. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and check out this second trailer. Vision? Yes, my love. Is this really happening? I think a few unsavory characters settling. Oh, that's interesting. There's Dottie again. I don't know why. I don't know. A lot of people are telling me I'm crazy. I really feel that this is... I don't think... Okay, maybe it's not. But I'm feeling that it could be Mephesto. For sure. And here, here's my little theory why, right? So, I've been wondering and I've been talking to my buddies about it. Like, the big question is, how did Wanda get pregnant? Like, the kids are, I'm pretty sure, real. And there has to be a way that she got pregnant. And, one, I don't even think Vision could impregnate her. And, two... Vision's technically dead, so even if it was possible for him to impregnate her, I don't think it'd be possible right now because he's not alive. Now, if you remember the second episode, they had that talent show that Dottie put together, and they she kept having everyone say, this is for the kids, this is for the kids, this is for the kids, right? What if that was like some kind of chance or some kind of spell or something to impregnate Wanda, right? Because if you remember at the end of that episode, it's not like she planned to get pregnant. It was out of nowhere. She was even surprised that she was pregnant. So I don't know. I feel that she has some correlation to it. Maybe she's not Mephesto, but I just feel that Dottie has more to the plot than what meets the eye. Settling in the neighborhood. Are you here to help us? <laughs> See, are you here to help us? Did you hear that? So that makes me think like Agnes is trying to help her. She is the witch. I don't know. It's they could be misleading. You know how Marvel is. Mar Marvel likes to mislead everything. You know, kind of like that Infinity War trailer where they showed uh, Hulk, but really he was in the Iron Man uh, Hulkbuster suit. So I don't know, but definitely think by the end of this show we will get a revelation that Agnes is a Gotha Harkness. I think something's wrong here. There's no need to get dramatic. Yeah. Again, just. Vision, you know, saying something's wrong here. We've seen it before. He's definitely, like, 
on the curious side. He knows that there's something off, which is like weird that he's having these own thoughts if he's not alive, right? Or is he? It's that's what I do like about this show, though, is the mystery behind it. That's the this is it's not the first time Marvel's done this, but it's like it feels very extreme in terms of like the level of mystery and wonder, and that's why I like this show a lot. Did you really not see what I saw? I have everything under control. There we go. Then it's back to that. She has everything under control. So we know that she's doing a lot of the things within this world, within this town. But again, there's other evidence to prove that somebody's manipulating her. We just do not know, folks. If you're not watching WandaVision, you're missing. Hmm, that was curious. Let's go back. See, it looks like they're looking at something that's scaring them. And... I can't see what's in the reflection of the window there. If you guys picked up anything, let me know. You're missing out. Marvel is final. Hold on. So there's that beekeeper. Looks like he made it back, I'm assuming. Which is, I was wondering in my last review, I even said, I was like, we didn't see any, like, end game for this guy. So it looks like he made it back to the sort of, like, uh, post outside of Wanda's uh, little force field. And now they're looking at her, uh, maybe just through a monitor. Marvel is finally back. Yeah, you saw in that one clip that he was actually coming back. You're right here. He's coming back through the forest field. So, or is, or is this a re-showing of when he went in to Westfield? One Division original series now streaming only on Disney Plus. Okay, so same thing. Uh, but yeah, uh, that was pretty much my reaction to these trailers. Like I said, nothing too much new. Um, a lot of the stuff we've already seen. But there was a couple new scenes that, you know, did kind of get me thinking again and kind of predicting. It, it's hard to predict for this show, for sure. But it, I find it cool that, uh, and I said this in my review as well, again, uh, not to rehash, but but it's cool that the characters inside the show, like S.W.O.R.D. and, and um, that group, is, like, doing research and looking for clues and everything, like, as the WandaVision show within the universe is, like, progressing, right? Just like we are. I think that's pretty dope. And I, I'm curious if they can see Agnes, right? Because remember when, like, they were putting all the pictures up of and, like, identifying all the people within the WandaVision show? They did not identify who Agnes is. So I wonder if, like, they could even see her when they're watching it through their television. Um, I, I'm, yeah, I'm curious to see that. So, but anyways, I'll catch you guys uh, this Friday with uh, my next episode review. Other than that, let me know what you guys thought of these trailers. Any predictions you guys might have. Definitely curious to hear what you got. Other than that, take care. Peace out.